the video. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Elise is my baby sister. She's 10 years younger than me and 10,000 times cuter than I will ever be. She graduated from high school this year, so for her senior spring break, she got to come out and visit us Gorgeous. for a very windy Utah adventure weekend. We decided to maximize our time and head toward Moab and see as much as possible over the long weekend that she was here. After grabbing a quick lunch and claiming a campsite by the river, we made our way up to the mountains to try a hike. However, it was still close for snow. So we opted to head back down for a little ridge hike by the river instead. It was just a little bit windy. Then we headed back to set up camp before dark and we made our way to the place we planned to meet up with Amaris for a hike to an arch at sunset. We frolicked around the arch, which we had entirely to ourselves until a storm unexpectedly rolled in, and we had to hightail it back to the campground to save our tent from becoming a swamp. Ah! No, we didn't put a rain fly on. <laughs> I ain't breaking my neck. Not today. Elise had never really been camping before this trip, so we were really excited that we were the ones that got to introduce her to the wild world of sleeping outdoors. And the weather definitely made it a memorable one. Tell me how your first night of camping went. Put my headlamp at my face. Yeah. <laughs> the sleep was fun. I didn't fall asleep around until around like one. Then we slept. It was great. And then Nan woke me up. Lovely. That storm was crazy. Yeah. Dude, I've never gotten sleeted on like that before. I knew it wasn't just rain. I told Corey I thought it might have been hail. I got a video of it. You yeah. did? Yeah. It was... Yeah, what do you mean by sleet? What is it? It looked like dipping Dots. Weird. Wow. The next morning, we decided to wake up and get out early so that we could watch the sunrise and have our coffee in Arches National Park. The hike to Delicate Arch was fairly uncrowded considering its popularity. We didn't make it up precisely in time for sunrise, but the views were amazing regardless.
<laughs> for the bears. For, for the, the bears. bears. What are you stirring it with? My <laughs> Since our time was limited, we decided to go for more of an overview slash survey style trip. <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> Opting to try to hit the parks on the east side of southern Utah and in being efficient with our time, we chose to stick to smaller, more accessible hikes. Arches has a lot of pull off and walk around types of situations where you can walk on paved trails to see many interesting formations. So we bopped around a few of those before heading back to make some more coffee and tear down camp. Trying to show me up. I concede. my <laughs> 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 We stopped for lunch, and then we made our way to our next destination, Canyonlands National Park. We chose to do a drive-through view of Canyonlands, stopping at a few main lookout points as the weather was being quite moody that day. What's up? Hello. We just wanted to see this park because it looks so cool with the storms. Once we made it through the park, we headed toward our next campsite in the San Rafael Swell. I have 
always stayed like against this canyon. Uh, it seems like there's a few spots. It's so dusty right now. I don't know if we want to try to claim one and then, but not set up tents or anything. Or I don't know if we want to do Cathedral Valley instead. Lee said the wind's supposed to die down at like eight. We could like see if we can find a road more around and maybe it's more protected back there. Sure. I think it's worth a shot. Let me see if I can look on the map. Let's get into the exploring. This wind is gnarly. Okay, ciao. Love you. Can we see where we would put tents? That's what I was just saying. Yeah. Can we put a tent back there? I think we could. That would be sick. We managed to find a site at a little alcove and we set up camp. Did you read Hatchet as a kid? It's right up your alley, I feel like. Oh. It really affected me. Not affected me, but I loved it. The, the book that I really loved was My Side of the Mountain. That's a good love one that too. book. We hung out by the fire, avoiding the wind as long as possible until right around sunset when it began to die down just a bit. That's when we ventured out.
It's not like exactly a Kia. I did stick my head out in the middle of the night to look at the stars. I heard you. Yeah, I know. It was really loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tossed and turned a lot, and I know it was loud, and I'm sorry. We all did. Yeah. Corey snored a bunch. Were you warm all night, Elise? Eh, I got cold. I didn't sleep with this on or the windbreaker on. But I slept with the little, like, head covering thing, so it kept my ear warm. And your nose. And your nose. That I had my good. foot zipper open, which was... I kept zipping it open and shut, and I should have just kept it shut. And my feet got cold. Oh, that's bad. We woke up in the morning, made some breakfast and coffee, and finished off the rest of the firewood we'd brought before packing up camp and heading to our last hike of the trip in a slot canyon. find the exact call that they were going to do. There's a guy canyoneering. I don't know where it was, maybe Utah, maybe Arizona. And he got his arm stuck in a rock. And he couldn't get out for 127 hours until he saw it through his arm. No way. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Woo. 
After the hike, we made a quick lunch and then started the rest of the drive home, including a little detour through Capitol Reef National Park so that we could squeeze in one more national park. E, we can't wait for you to be back in Utah. It's a pretty good burrito out there. That way's pretty good.